During Princess Twilight Sparkle's 200 moon reign, Equestria faced its biggest threat yet a supervillain who planned to take all the ponies' magic and use it against them. The evil Alicorn, named Opaline, was determined to win, take over the kingdom, and rule as she saw fit. Unlike Princesses Celestia, Luna, Twilight, and Cadence, Opaline believed that Alicorns were a five superior race of pony and should be the only ones who controlled and possessed magic. Why were her Alicorn sisters deigning to spend their time herding these weak little inconsequential Pegasus, Unicorn, and Earth ponies? Why did they care about their friendships and clean up their magical messes? It was Opaline would stop at nothing to make sure that the citizens of Equestria were stripped of their special magic. And she began to try, using her incredible Alicorn powers to lure and trap ponies and leech them of their magic abilities. After moons of unrest, Twilight Sparkle and her trusted friends, Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, Rarity, Applejack, and Fluttershy, were finally able to free the trapped ponies, defeat Opaline, and restore magic to the world. To make sure that all the magic never again fell into the wrong hooves, Twilight Sparkle made a difficult decision. She performed a complicated and dangerous spell, gathering all the world's magic and placing it into three crystals. Twilight tasked her friends with the sacred responsibility of protecting the crystals and the magic they contained. She asked them to take the crystals to the wilds of unexplored Equestria farther than any pony had ever traveled. There the ponies would remain, dedicating their lives to protecting the magic in a faraway place. Earth ponies Pinkie Pie and Applejack took their crystal to the farthest edge of the land, where the mountains met the sea. Unicorns Rarity and Starlight Glimmer took their crystal to the deepest depths of a forbidding forest. And Pegasi Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy flew to the highest peaks with their crystal. As an extra layer of protection, Twilight added a cloaking spell, placing the three lands in an incredibly strong and vase bubble enchantment so that they would be hidden away from the outside world. This way, Opaline could never find them again. Inside this hidden realm, the ponies would meet every year with the precious crystals for the Unity Festival, a grand celebration of friendship that reunited the main six and recharged the magic the crystals contained. As long as friendship was kept alive, magic would be as well. As the years passed, the responsibility of protecting the crystals was passed down from generation to generation. The once remote Pegasus, Unicorn, and Earth Pony communities established to protect the crystals began to grow and flourish. During these times of prosperity and happiness, virtually no pony realized that each of the three species tended to gather around their own crystal. The frequency of the Unity Festival began to decline as ponies got busy and focused on their everyday lives. The less they got together, the more they forgot why they were getting together in the first place. Eventually, the celebration ceased altogether. Magic was never recharged, and eventually faded away from the hidden world, and in turn, Equestria completely 